Hello everyone. Greetings of the day. Today we are going to talk on the topic menu plan. Scope. What is menu? Menu planning and its importance. Objectives of meal planning. Functions of menu. Principles of menu planning. Understand the various types of menu and their requirements. Points to consider in while menu planning for various volume feeding outlets, influence on the menu, factors to consider when planning menus, understand the concept of balance in a menu, menu for school lunch program, industrial canteens, hospitals, home for children and extended care facilities. Functions and importance of menu engineering. Introduction A menu or bill of fare is a means of communication informing a list of food and beverages offered to customers and the prices. Menu planning is the process of deciding what you will eat for each meal, including main dish, side dish and desserts. It also entails knowing how many meals to plan for and when to serve them. The main advantage of a well-planned menu is that it leads to customer satisfaction and helps to motivate the employees for a possible, sorry, for a responsible and successful service. Meal planning is the act of advanced planning for the menu for different situations such as for a family or a restaurant. Meet nutritional needs. Recognition the food is treatment a part of a medical therapy. Saves time and money. Meet or exceed customer expectations. Provide quality standardization and predictability. Simplify purchase, preparations, and storage of meals. Plan meals within the cost, food, and waste minimized. Provide attractive, appetizing meals with no monotony. Determine production methods and distribution system. Minimize overhead expenditure, that is, fuel, electricity, water, labor. Menu analysis is defined as a range of techniques and procedures. Customer's feedback has become an important aspect for or of analysis. Importance of menu planning. Facilitate evaluations and improvement. Customer satisfaction. Facilitating costing. Facilitating pricing. Facilitating ordering. Plan storage, guide production, preference by customer and management, stick to budget, guide the catering staff on how to prepare dishes, special attention on special dishes, example garnish, tools, equipments, crockeries, etc. Objectives of meal planning to provide a balance of food not only nutritious but balance in variety or varieties. Objective with meal plannings are listed below age group, sex, types of work or activities, people to be served, economic conditions, surrounding area, place of work or accessibility to the market or eating place. Functions of the menu. A menu has the following function. Number one, information. It satisfies the guest needs for the information about what food is available, how it is cooked and presented in price list. Number two, order. It presents the dish in a logical order, usually listing the menu item under courses headings, thereby making comprehension of the menu easy. Choices. Number three, it determines the freedom of choice and alternatives in each type of dish that a guest may have. 
Number four, image. It helps present the overall image and style of the restaurant. Number five, sales. It is a means of promoting sales by appropriately describing the dishes, which appeals to the guests. Number six, as tools. It helps as a tools for the kitchen. In order to prepare the mise en place and equipment staff required for its production. Number seven, record keeping. It is a record of cost and control, purpose to regulate portion size and food cost of each item. Effectives and importance of a four Ws. A four W stands for who, when where and what so before we start a planning a menu we have to consider this four is who who is going to eat the food is gender occupations specific dietary needs when is it going to be eaten time of year time of a day where is it going to be served or eaten venue space and facilities available what what type of food is going to be eaten? Sit down meal, buffet, breakfast, lunch, dinner, special occasion. Factors responsible for menu planning. It is broadly divided into two. They are a factor related to the guest, age, sex, occupation, nutritional needs, a food preference, religion, demographic, varieties and expectation number two factors relating to the food service management deal with types of services not to the not to be served equipment availability number of experience employees distribution of work availability and seasonality of a food budget now the most important part is the principles of menu plan. What is the principle? Menu planning principle includes imbalance, sorry, includes balance, nutritional quality, aesthetics, varieties, including color, texture, flavors, shapes, and sizes of food. The equipments are personal available to produce and serve the menu are also important consideration for plan. The first point is it should be based on disease condition of the patient as we look for overall. It should meet the nutritional requirement. It must fulfill the family needs. Planning should save time and energy. Economic consideration. Many planning should give maximum nutrients. Considerations of individual likes and dislikes. Many planning should provide a variety. Food habits. Seasonal availabilities. Psychological aspect. Types of menu. Number one, table d'hote, a la carte, and other types. So under the tablet your banquet, buffet, coffee house, cyclic menu. Under the a la carte, breakfast menu, luncheon menu, dinner menu, ethnic menu, specialty menu, room service menu, and lounge menu. Other menus or other types, static menu, du jour menu, wine menu, Dessert menu. Types of menu. Table d'hote. A set of menu forming a complete meal at a set price. A choice of dishes may be offered at all courses. Choice and number of courses is limited to two, three, or four, or might be five. Number two. A la carte. Menu with all the dishes individually priced. Customers compile their own menu from the list. The menu is cooked to order. The customer should be prepared to wait for this service. 
party or functions menu menu for banquets or functions of all kind all guest starts the meal at the same time seasonable food must be available if the menu are printed well in advance to avoid embarrassment types of menu continuation ethnic or specialty menu can be a la carte or table table specializing in the food or religion of the country or is or in a specialized food itself example ethnic groups can be chinese indian kosher kenyan african etc specialty is a steak fish pasta vegetarian etc kitchen staff must know how to obtain and use the ingredient the ambience that is the mood of the restaurant must reflect the menu number 5 hospitality menu or the institutional menu sorry hospital menu or the institutional menu it's a form of a menu given to the patient the day before service the patient takes his or her preference a dietitian is usually involved with menu compilation to ensure nothing is given to the patient that would be determinant detrimental to their health The patient's meal are usually two to three courses. Types of menu continuations: menu for people at work, industrial. Menu served to people at the workplace. The vary is standard, and the extent from one employee to another depending on the company policy. They are usually served in staff canteen or cafeteria. some companies charges for the meal and some ask for a token sum and offer meals at a subsidized price or a rate the menu offer two or three meals course meal with a selection of items traditional or the ethnic menu traditional recipes form a sound foundation of knowledge for the caterer However, fashions in food chains and customers look for new dishes, different combinations of food, uh, sorry, food, fresh ideas on menu, etc. Some of the most successful menu contains a sensible balance of traditional and contemporary dishes. Types of menu continuation: menu for children. They emphasize on healthy eating and a balanced diet in school. School will school with children from different culture and religion backgrounds should have appropriate item available on the menu. Most establishments provide special children's menu with which concentrate on a favorite food. cyclic menu a cyclic menu is a series of menu that is repeated over a specific time of period such as a four week the menu is different each day during the cycle it save time and allow menu planner to offer a varieties of menu selection most often used in food service operation that serve the same group of customers every day such as healthcare facilities schools restaurants etc the principal advantages of a cyclic menu are better meal time saving improve cost control and most effective supervision and training types of menu continuation banquet menu banquet menu lists a food selection for banquets which are festive dinner that celebrate special occasions typically banquets serve a single type of appetizer and desserts and allow guests to select their choice of main course next static menu same menu items are offered every day frequently used if menus or the restaurant's concept is built around the menu example mcdonalds pizza hut next is a card de jour a menu listing dishes available on a particular day fixed menu with fixed price menu have choices within the courses based on the availability of the raw materials and the seasonal availability 
points to be considered in menu planning types of establishment types of customers and age groups location where your establishment is going to establish or the organization is going to be established religious rules that is your uh, courses laws example meat or non meat preferences the number of non meat eaters is steadily increasing so this becomes more important time of the year time of day whether it's a breakfast tea supper snacks price range unless a fair price are charged a repeat business may not occur and the caterer may go out of business so before menu planning price range is an important factor competition it is wiser to use a menu quite different to those of nearby establishment both in terms of price and quality space and equipment the menu writer must be aware of any shortcomings or deficiencies in equipment and may be wary of offering dishes that are difficult to produce continuation number 11 the availability and the capacity of both the production and the service staff labor must be considered available of supplies and schedules from suppliers number of courses according to all prior considerations correct sequence of courses important if the menu is to achieve a good balance number 15 appropriate language always use a language that customers can understand number 16 sensible nutritional balance if a selection of dishes with varying nutritional content are offered then customers can make their own choices number 17 no repetitions of commodities or the raw material never repeat basic ingredients such as mushrooms tomatoes peas bacon on the menu number 18 balance color flavors textures shape varieties of ingredient continuation no repetitions of flavor example do not serve a tomato flavor sauce on the main course if the soup was cream of tomato do not or avoid serving let's say garlic flavored noodles with prawns and garlic sauce try to different taste in the meat itself by providing a choice between beef pork lamb etc no repetition of color color of food is important to give appetizing appeal but avoid repetition of color the texture of courses ensure variations is given food should not be all soft or crisp but balanced sauces if different sauces are served on one menu the foundation ingredient of each sauce should vary portion control control over the size and quantity of food to be served as per person influence on the menu health and eating customers are increasingly looking for the availability of choices that will enable them to achieve a balanced diet customer are also requiring more specific informations on uh, menus or uh, method of cooking and ingredients used to provide their meal such as low fat milk less sugar and drink influences of the menu number 2 is a dietary requirement customers may therefore require a certain diet for medical reasons some may needs to know about the ingredient used in that this number 1 is the allergies number 2 is the diabetic number 3 is the low cholesterol number 4 is the low sodium or the salt allergies food item that are known to cause allergies includes the gluten in wheat rye and barley 
peanuts, sesame seeds, and other nuts such as cashew nut, pecan, and walnut, as well as milk, fish, shellfish, egg, coarse <coughs> anaphylactic shock resulting in the lips, tongue, or throat, swelling dramatically over a very short period of time. Diabetic refer to the inability of the food or body to control the level of insulin within the blood. Avoidance of disease with a high sugar content, low cholesterol. Diet will include limited quantities of animal fat. Other items eaten may include grilled fish or meat, fruits and vegetables. Low fat milk and yogurt. Low sodium and salt. Number four, reduction in the amount of sodium or salt consumption. Influences on the menu continuation number three that is a cultural and religious dietary influences various fats have different requirement with regards to the ingredient that may be consumed cover preparations method cooking procedures and equipment used hindu jews muslims sikh rastafarian roman catholics hindu do not eat beef and rarely pork Jews do not eat pork and pork products, selfies and animal fats and gelatin from breast considered to be unclean or not slaughtered according to the prescribed manner that is the kosher law. Muslim will not eat meat offals or animal fat unless it is halal meat. Do not consume alcohol. Sick do not eat beef or pork, some will keep to a vegetarian diet. Restafarians will not eat any processed food, pork, fish without fins, will not consume tea, coffee or alcohol. Roman Catholics usually will not eat meat on uh, as Wednesday or Good Friday. Some of them not eat meat on Friday. Influence on the menu continuation number four, that is a vegetarianism. It may vary from culture, cultural, religion, religious, moral, eth uh, ethical, or physiological consideration. Number one is a vegetarian semi. Do not eat red meat or all meats. Diet will may include fish, poultry, and dairy product. Vegetarian lecto ovo. Do not eat meat fish or poultry but may eat milk and milk product and egg. Vegetarian lacto do not eat meat, fish, egg but may eat milk and milk product. Vegans do not eat any food of animal origins. Diet only consists of vegetables, vegetable oil, cereals, nuts, fruits and seeds. Fruitarian Diet may include mainly raw fruits and dried fruits, nuts, honey, and olive oil. Influence on the menu number five continuation that is ethical influences. Customers have become increasingly aware of ethical issues such as ensuring sustainability of the food consumed, fair trade, the acceptability of the genetically modified food or eradicate food, reduction or reducing food packaging and food waste, reducing the effect that food production and food transformation have on the, on the environment uh, generally. Factors to consider when planning menu. Several factors direct what kind of menu to make according to the requirement. Number one, nutritional requirement, protein, starch, vitamins, fat, minerals, salt. Health considerations, sickness, deficiency like scurvy, diabetes, then posture card. Number three, availability of foodstuff, seasonal food like fruits and vegetables. Number four, number of courses, three or four or five or six or as per the management requirement. Number five, sequence of course, appetizers or a starter, main course and dessert. 
nutritional balance proteins vitamins minerals water rock fat and oil number 7 occasion funeral wedding birthday graduation ceremony national holiday celebration festivities like christmas ramadan easter holidays durga puja etc menu balance a menu must be balanced to appeal to customer to believe uh, to be able to maximize profit it is necessary to give a well thought out menu first is the business balance that the balance between food cost menu price popularity of item financial and marketing condition aesthetic balance are all dishes must have the gastronomic balance in terms of form color texture flavor color a dish could be ruined with color monotony a great menu planner looks into the details garnish are a great contributor to color contrast as well texture assembling components of a dish of similar consistency and texture can only tend to create boredom for the plate number 3 flavors the contrasting flavor of some items seems naturally to go together number 4 forms shapes bring varieties to a dish chef can create shapes with vegetables and meats to create a pea contrasting shapes enhance the appeal to dishes next nutritional balance the basic purpose of eating is to give nutrition to the body the basic block of food are carbohydrates proteins fat minerals and vitamins menu for school lunch program to serve nutritionally adequate attractive and moderately priced lunch the nutritional goal is to furnish at least one third of the recommended daily dietary allowance for children of various age group to help in meeting the nutritional goals it is recommended that school lunch includes a vitamin c food every day a vitamin a food twice a week several food of iron each day and protein rich food in addition to meeting the nutritional requirements school lunches should provide satisfaction and pleasure to the students help in development of uh, good eating habits many for industrial canteen the concept of catering to employee was initiated in the in the early 19th century to provide meals service facilities to the labor working in place located far away from home robert owen is believed to be the father of the industrial catering several industrial units have continued this service as an uh, indispensable part of their operation either under plan management or a concessional basis many plan must follow the principle uh, of planning considered for specific requirement of the establishment food combinations cycle or rotating menu menu for homes children and extended care facility this includes hotels sorry hostels uh, orphanage home for age handicap etc all three meals are eaten in the same place every day throughout the year hence nutritional needs of the individuals being served must be met meal must sorry meal cost must be kept in mind to meet the budgetary allowance as well careful thought must be given to many planning to in, in, in incorporate variety and interest in the menu prevent low cost food commonly used from falling into a monotonous pattern children needs to be served food which are familiar and in an atmosphere which is pleasant same food can be served to children of all ages but size of serving portion acceptable to children varies with age individual differences in activity sex body build and other physical and the temperamental characteristics should be kept in mind 
older adults have a fixed habit and food preferences basic menu planning patterns should be followed some individuals problems should be taken care of the first people or the person responsible for planning menu must have the following qualification that is a wide knowledge of food knowledge of ways of aesthetic presentations of food knowledge of different methods of preparations and service of food the suitability of menu to the different types of occasions and types of establishment yes menu engineering menu engineering is a way to design a menu in order to push the most profitable dish and upsell to the guest the goal is simple to increase profitability per guest with the right menu engineering one will be able to feature the most popular important and profitable dish on the menu it makes it easy for the guest to choose a dish increasing the profit margin number 1 how it does it work is number 1 star high profitability high popularity blow horse high popularity low profit dogs low popularity low profit puzzle low popularity high profit advantages and disadvantages of various types of menu these different categories overlap each among each other and types of food service operations both commercial and non commercial and offers both advantages and disadvantages to management and control for example static menu would be easiest for forecasting purchasing and labor scheduling since they are the same day or day they are same every day but cyclic menu have those same advantages over daily menu however it can take restaurant chain a year or more to plan or make a change to aesthetic menu daily menu are the most flexible and can be easily changed to adjust to produce and or market price changes static and to an extent cycle uh, cyclic menu offers the customer a predictable dining experience but daily menu offer a new dining adventure with every visit to the food service operation of course food service operation often combine elements of different uh, uh, types of menu to gain the advantage offers by each for example many restaurant using aesthetic uh, menu offer daily special or features which give some flexibility to offer menu items that are season uh, that are seasonal or trendy or used product that needs to be sold and not wasted thank you very much